body-crushing pressure, toxic atmospheres, unbearable temperatures. That's what would be in store for you if you visited other planets in our solar system. But what other environmental hazards would you encounter? Which planets would be the safest and which would be the most dangerous? And how long could you survive on any of them? This is What If, and here's what would happen if you spent a day on every planet in our solar system. Before you get started on your journey through the solar system, you should pack a bottle of water. Earth is the only planet known to have consistent bodies of liquid water on its surface. So if you pack enough, you could probably survive a few days just about anywhere, right? Well, sorry to say, I've got some bad news for you. Let's start with a visit to Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system. This rocky, crater-filled planet is only slightly larger than our moon, and it's located extremely close to the sun at a distance of 58 million kilometers. Now, even though a day on Mercury equals about 59 days on Earth, your trip wouldn't last anywhere near that long. Due to this slow rotation, you could land on the sunny half where the temperatures reach 430 degrees Celsius, or maybe you'd aim for the dark side where temperatures drop to minus 180 degrees Celsius. Your best bet would be to find a cozy spot somewhere in between. But with an atmosphere mainly composed of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium, good luck breathing for very long. Even in this middle ground, you wouldn't likely survive more than two minutes. Okay, let's check out what a day would be like on the second planet from the Sun, Venus. Well, you should expect a very warm welcome because surface temperatures are a piping hot 475 degrees Celsius. And one day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days. Unless you've got an impossibly robust spacecraft, you couldn't get very close to the surface. And even if you did, you wouldn't last very long. Venus has a thick and toxic atmosphere with 154,000 times more carbon than the atmosphere of Earth. And it's shrouded in yellowish clouds of sulfuric acid. You could say the Venusian atmosphere is a runaway greenhouse effect. Between the toxicity and the heat burning you to a crisp, you wouldn't survive one second on Venus. Now, let's skip on over to Mars. Unless you wanted to stop back on Earth for a couple breaths of fresh air. On Mars, you'd find comfort in a day that is a little over 24 hours. What you wouldn't find comfortable is an atmosphere of carbon dioxide, argon, nitrogen, and a little bit of oxygen and water vapor. The surface of Mars is cold, with an average temperature of minus 62 degrees Celsius. Combine the low surface temperatures with the unbreathable air and you wouldn't survive much more than a few minutes here either. On the next planet, you wouldn't be able to reach the surface. That's because there isn't one on the gas giant Jupiter. This planet is more than twice as massive as all the other planets in our solar system combined and its atmosphere is primarily hydrogen, helium, and cold, windy clouds of ammonia and water. Jupiter might be bulky, but it rotates fast. One day lasts a mere 10 Earth hours. And because it's so fast, Jupiter's atmosphere has strong jet streams, plus the great red spot that is actually a storm bigger than the size of Earth. If you fell into the planet, 
you would enter the atmosphere at a whopping 49 kilometers per second. And as you kept falling, the atmosphere would become denser and more turbulent. You might feel like you were slamming into a wall again and again. If you made it 692 kilometers down, you would find pressure levels higher than at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, the deepest place on Earth. If the pressure didn't kill you, the temperature, which averages minus 145 degrees Celsius, certainly would. You wouldn't survive on Jupiter for one second. Wow. Now, if you continued on to Saturn, you'd find another gaseous giant without a surface. And like Jupiter, a day lasts about 10.7 hours. Here, you would experience deadly strong winds reaching up to 1,800 kilometers per hour. With an unbreathable atmosphere made of hydrogen and helium, Saturn is incapable of supporting life. Maybe you'd have more luck on one of its moons, like Titan or Enceladus. These two moons have internal oceans which could theoretically support life. Okay, moving on to the first of the ice giants in our solar system, Uranus. No surprise here that it also has an unbreathable atmosphere of hydrogen, helium, and methane, which gives the planet its signature blue-green color and the stink of rotten eggs. There are some other unusual hazards on Uranus you'd need to be prepared for, such as mysterious flares of x-rays and leap. All right, last but not least, Neptune. A dark, cold planet with supersonic winds as strong as 2,000 kilometers per hour. That's faster than the top speed of a fighter jet. So if the pressure didn't kill you, those supersonic winds would probably do the trick. A day on Neptune would last for 16 Earth hours, but your life there wouldn't last a second. Okay, there it is. So in case it isn't clear, Earth would be the only planet you would want to visit anytime soon. Just about anywhere else you could look forward to a deadly cocktail of high pressure and toxic gas. I mean, that is, unless we terraformed Mars creating a second home for humanity within the solar system. But that's a story for another What If.